Hi, my name is Mercedes Gonzalez. I'm the Director of Global Purchasing and today we're going to talk about timing. When you're going to be showing the collection and when it actually ships. And I have to tell you something, it is so broad and so confusing, so I'm going to try to do my best to give you all the different options, but if I give you one word of advice is to always be early to market then late. So the first season that we're going to talk about, and I also want to add that this is a generalization for women's and men's market, contemporary price points for the U.S. So fall one starts to show in January and February. Usually in January, it starts with the men's shows in New York City, and then it moves across the country, ending up in Las Vegas for the big uh, trade shows um, at the end of February or mid-February. So what we're showing, what delivery we're showing in January, February, and March is fall one, which starts to deliver in August and September. Some bigger stores might want it at the end of July, and some stores might want it as late as October. It really depends on the negotiations you make with each of the stores. Fall two starts to show a few months later, but can also be shown at the same time as fall one. Fall two is also known as the winter collection. But in the industry, buyers tend to be weary of winter and summer of those terms because they also in their minds mean markdowns. So it's the time of the year that they do most of the sales. So fall two starts to show in March and April and delivers in October, November. The next season that we work with is spring one. Spring one starts to show in August and September, but again, in the men's market, it starts as early as July. But if you're working with the European market, it could start as early as June. So we have to kind of understand who the retailer that we want to target is and what, what trade shows and what markets they're um, working. And you do this through actually understanding the retailers that you want to sell to by making your list of retailers, by following them on social media, looking at what trade shows that they like to go to and kind of getting a feeling for the timing. But again, like even when we're getting into August market, in July, most of the U.S. retailers go on sale, unless they're a resort store. But we do our markdowns, we review the brands that we did business with, we see which ones we want to drop because the margins are not there, because we had to take too many markdowns with them, or put too many items on sale. And then that's when we do our budgets for the next season, and that's when your moment of opportunity to present the line is actually um, available. So the other thing I want to mention, so remember back in January and February, I'm already starting to get some of my deliveries in August. And some of the brands, and it's very typical um, to be short shipped about 30% of the things that we buy early in the season. So this is another moment of opportunity for you to sell fall during the August market, which is supposed to be the opening of spring. You see where I mean where it gets a little bit confusing? If you're in an in-stock position. Now, if this is your first season, I don't recommend that you actually produce any goods unless you have pre-orders and hit your break even, because if not, you're really in a very risky position to own all this inventory that's not been sold. And if you really feel like, oh, I'll just go online and sell it, that's a whole different workshop that I've done, it doesn't work. People do not buy new brands or end use consumer does not buy new brands from an online or from a website. So the next season that we're talking about is summer, also known as spring two, which again, you can show together in the beginning of the season, which is my advice to you to kind of be early then late to market. It shows in October, November, and it doesn't ship until March and April. Now there are two more um, seasons that you can ship or collections that you can ship. The next one being holiday and resort, also known as cruise wear. So those two uh, seasons are shown in May market, which is a really important market, especially if it's your first time introducing a collection to um, the market. Um, if it's your first launch, May is a really great moment of opportunity because it gets your foot in the door for the bigger uh, season, which shows in July if it's men's and August if it's a women's collection. That doesn't start to ship until the beginning of November. So I want you to just notice how much time you have between the first uh, selling cycle, the second selling cycle, and when you actually have to produce to ship. You have almost five months to be able to do that. So being in this cut to order position, minimizing the risk is really important, especially for a new brand. Thank you, and if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment at the bottom, and don't forget to subscribe.